Alright, so today guys I want to make a video on how you can change the shader lighting. As you can see right now it's very yellow. I'm on the Lila shaders light. You can see right here. And I've changed it for the standard. Now this is what it'll look like if I change it to uh, like a normal lighting, less yellow. And I got a question a while ago and uh, I was planning on making this video sooner but here it is. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to change it. The only thing that I would like to figure out how to change is how to change the brightness of the torches. As you can see, it's not very bright. And uh, a lot of shaders, resource packs, rely heavily on darkness to make the torches and everything uh, give a better lighting effect. Uh, but I haven't figured out how to change that yet, but I will show you guys how to make it so it's not yellow anymore. Now, this is just for uh, lagless shaders, light, and uh, standard. So. I'll go ahead and show you guys how I did it. Now you're going to want to go to uh, your video settings, shaders, go to your shaders folder. Now that you're in here, both light and standard, there's a different way to change them for both of them. I'll go through both right now. Uh, I have it set for standard right now. I'll show you guys how I did it for that. You're going to want to go into the lagless shaders folder, go into the S shaders folder, and it's in composite.fsh. You're going to want to right click, cut, and you're going to want to probably go back to, here I'll make this full screen. Go back to your shaders folder and paste it in here. You're going to have to edit this and you're going to have to put it back into that folder that we were just in. So you right click on this. I use Notepad++. I'll leave a link to the Notepad++ installation. You can also edit it uh, with text editor in Windows, but it's just not as clean as this is. Uh, now that you're in here, you're going to want to find, if you press Control F, you type in Torch. And as you can see right here, this will be different for you. This is what you're going to want to change it to. I'll also leave this down in the description. This number set right here. Uh, a lot of resource packs, if you can find torch light color or torch color lighting, it'll be along those lines and it'll ask for, uh, it'll have like a set number in there. And you're just going to want to change it to something like this. Yours might not be RGB. Hopefully it is if you're trying to change it on any other resource pack, I mean, shaders pack. But uh, mine was RGB, and this is what I've found to work the best for that. But uh, you just change it to this. I'm going to copy this right now because we're going to use this for the next one too. So uh, once you've edited it to this, you're going to want to close out of this, save it, right click. Uh, you're going to want to copy. Uh, I guess the best way I've found to do this is since it's here, I'll just go into File Explorer open up uh, file explorer again put it over here and I'll go to the exact same place I'm going to copy this URL right here this path to the folder paste it in here hit enter and I'm in the same place now if I go into uh, lagless shaders standard because that was the one we were editing go into shaders I'm going to want to take this and drag it in here and I'll copy it in and replace that one that's in there now, I'm going to have to hop back in here real quick so I can get this again because I copied that path. So I'll copy that. But now it is in here. And if you were to reload the uh, shaders, it'll change that lighting setting. So I'm going to delete this now. Don't need it anymore. And now we're going to do it with the light. Now this one, it was the composite.fsh for the standard shaders settings. Now for light... What you're going to have to do is you're going to want to go into the shaders folder. You want to go to final.sfh. Right click, cut. I'm going to go back to the shaders folder. Right click in here and hit paste. And I'm going to want to right click on this. I'm going to be editing with Notepad++. Like I said, you can edit with any Notepad editor or Windows, but I feel like this is easier. Now you're going to press Control F, type in torch, and you will find the torch lighting. You can see right here, this is probably what it looked like previously in the other, uh, the, what's it called, standard shaders, I can't remember, uh, lagless shaders, the standard one, this is what it would have looked like for you, but you're just going to paste in, oh no, I must not have copied it, um, here, let me get back in there real quick, if you were to copy it like I did, we're closing out, don't have to do this. I'm in the standard, go into composite, find the torch lighting, I copy this in particular here. 
control C. Okay, it should be copied. Now I'm going to go back into here. You'll be able to copy it out of my description below. You're going to want to paste this in here in the torch color lighting. V. Now it's pasted in there. Just hit control S. It'll save it. Now I'm going to want to take this final.sfh or fsh and I'm going to want to paste it into the standard shaders light folder. What it's going to do is it's going to paste it over top of the folder. In here. Right click on this, hit cut, should be able to paste it in here. Yes, and then it'll paste it over top. Now, that we've done that, I can go into Minecraft and see if it works. So we'll load up light, and as you can see, the torches are now no longer yellow. Uh, and I can see why people would like to do this. This does look a lot cleaner. I think the light looks a bit cleaner than the uh, standard does. Well, thanks for watching the video, guys. If this did help you out, uh, thumbs up and subscribing would be much appreciated. I've been making quite a few of these videos. Not recently. I've been a little busy, but uh, I'd like to get back into doing this. I really do enjoy it. And thanks again, guys. Hope I can catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.